Okay guys, one more quick recipe for you today. Unfortunately, there's gonna be a lot of still shots, no video because my fur baby, Mick Dundee. Hi, mama. Decided to talk during the entire filming. Um, so we will try to do a video, an active video again later. But this is one of my very favorite ways to have steak. It is cocoa rub chipotle butter steak. For the steak rub, you're gonna need two teaspoons kosher salt, one and a half teaspoons ancho chili powder, and any kind of chili powder will work, but ancho will give you a much better flavor. One teaspoon cocoa powder, unsweetened, one half teaspoon ground black pepper, and a half teaspoon of packed brown sugar, and two ribeye steaks. It'll save you a lot of time if you go ahead and get all of your ingredients out and go ahead and pre-measure them. Put them in small little bowls, get them ready to mix up so you don't have to keep referring back time after time after time to your recipe. You'll want to go ahead and after you take your protein out of the package from the store, go ahead and rinse it off. And you'll want to make sure that you pat it dry with a paper towel before you get ready to start adding your ingredients. Once you have all your rub ingredients mixed together, what you want to do is coat both sides of your steak, kind of put it on there, rub it in very gently. You don't have to pound it in or anything like that. You just want to make sure that it adheres. And then you're going to set these aside at room temperature for 15 to 30 minutes before you're ready to cook. For the chipotle butter, you're going to need a quarter cup of butter softened, one tablespoon of minced canned chipotle chilies in adobo sauce. Getting it that way, they're gonna be nice and soft and have extra flavor. You also want one teaspoon of packed brown sugar and just a pinch of salt. While the steaks are resting at room temperature, let's go ahead and make the chipotle butter. You're gonna need a quarter cup of butter and you wanna kind of chop it up and just let it sit at room temperature to start getting soft. To that butter, you wanna add one teaspoon of packed brown sugar, and then you want to add one tablespoon of minced chipotle chilies in adobo sauce. These come in a little can, you won't use very much of them, but chop them up, they are kind of messy, but they're gonna to add tons of flavor. Then you want to add just a pinch of salt, probably about a quarter of a teaspoon, and once everything's in there, then you're gonna mix it all up. You're just gonna let this sit at room temperature until your steaks are ready. Once your steaks have rested, you're going to grill them over medium-high heat, and you're gonna cook them about six to eight minutes uh, per side, depending on how well you like yours done. And when you take them off, you'll bring them back in, and we're gonna add the chipotle butter. The chipotle butter is just gonna melt right into the steaks. It's gonna be very delicious. It is my favorite favorite kind of steak. It goes really well with mashed potatoes or even just a side salad. And I hope that you enjoy this cocoa rub chipotle butter steak as well. What do you want? Hmm? What do you want? <laughs>